Hello boys and girls, it's Mr. Barry again with a literacy lesson for our pre-K-4 classes. Um, yesterday we talked about day and night. We're going to talk about that again today and kind of talk about things that we do in the day and at night. Um, some things we only do during the day. Some things we only do at night. And some things are kind of in between. Um, the, the two circles right up here are called a Venn diagram. They, are, they're kind of, they have a part, part where they connect with each other. So if you can see this circle comes way over here and this circle comes way over here. And then there's a part that kind of are part of this circle and a part of this circle. This one is for day. This one is for night. And this one right here is things that happen kind of in, uh, in both. So we're going to, um, I want to talk about some things like that and I want you to be thinking about it at home. And think about, well, you may have some ideas that I don't have. And maybe that's something you could share with mom and dad. Um, let's, let's start by thinking about it during the day. Do you, like, you know, I mean, one thing that I'll, we love to do here at school during the day is go out and play. And I know you've been doing that a lot some during the day in between when you're working on your schoolwork. Um, so let's see, I'm going to put, let's see, see if I can do a... You know, one thing I know my boys and girls love to do out on the playground are get on the swings. Oh, they love to get on the swings. And swing, and we've got some high swingers here at our, at our school. Um, so we got the swings, and that's going to be your, your, would you do that one at night? No. So they couldn't go in here in the middle. Another thing that we like to do during, our, during the daytime, I know it, are read stories. Do you like to read, listen to stories? I know I like to read them and listen to them as well. And, but, you know, when we read stories, that's something we do in the daytime. Do you also have a story read to you at night before you go to bed? Yeah. And, you know, we have the bedtime stories that for the Incarnation Academy of Teachers are reading in the evenings. So, that's something we kind of, kind of is in between. So, over here, I'm going to put a storybook right here in the middle. And there's so many good bedtime stories and, and daytime stories too that we would uh, that we could that we read and this but this would go in there because it's kind of shared between daytime and nighttime. Um, what is the main thing you like to do um, when you during the night during the most of the night? What are you doing? You're sleeping, aren't you? So I'm going to see if I can just make a bed over here. Okay, there's the. Over here, and and we got a pillow right here, and um, and then let's see a window right there, and out the window is going to be the what? The moon, the moon and the stars. So at nighttime we're sleeping, and. We do that during the day. Sometimes we might take a nap, but, but usually when we're really sleeping, that's going to be at nighttime. Now, during the day, one thing that's so important, especially when there's summer coming up, is staying hydrated. We love to get drinks of water you know, and keep hydrated all during the day. So, but think of, before you go to bed at night, do you like to have a drink? I know I do. I like to keep a glass close by. So, you know, I think I'm going to put that, because it's kind of shared between the nighttime and the daytime, I'm going to put that right over here. There's our glass. And it's got a little bit of water in it right there. So when we get a drink in the daytime and at the nighttime. Now, something I know so a lot of my boys and girls are learning how to do is ride their bikes. Oh, my goodness. We love to ride our bikes. Now, was this something you would do at nighttime? Oh, no, not safe to be out on your bike at night. And so, when would you do that? In the daytime. So, I'm going to put that over here. Let's see if I can draw a bike. Oh, my goodness, I don't know about that. We know it's got two wheels. We know it's got our wheels. So, there's our bikes. Our bike wheels. And then, let's see if we can kind of connect it together here. And there's our, that's like a wagon. Well, you know what we're talking about here. There's our seat and our handlebars. And there's our, there's our, um, 
our bicycle through the daytime or a wagon, whichever one, either one would be, would go in the daytime, wouldn't it? And then at nighttime, when you look outside, what do you see? If you go outside, when it's not too bright around you, you're going to see lots of, of, of moon, the moon, I mean, the moon showing, and stars. Would you see that during the day? No, we're not going to see it. So I'm going to put that right over here. A moon and the stars. I love to look at the stars at night. Now, so, so there's things that we do during the day, things we do at night, and some things we kind of do in between. Now, remember, you may have some other ideas that Mr. Barry had. So be sure and share those with Mom and Dad, things that, that you would do in, in the daytime or in the nighttime. Now, I want to share, we, we have a, there's a couple of compound words that um, go right along with this. In the nighttime, we have, on this side, we have the moon. Over here, we have a light bulb, which is the light, moon, light, moonlight. What would we have if we took the light away from the word, on the word with the moon, what would we have? Just moon, moon. If we took the moon away, we would just have light. When we put those two words together, moon and light, we have the compound word moonlight. Now, just like that one, during the daytime, we have here sun and the light, put those together, and we've got sunlight. Sunlight. We take the, the light away, just have sun. Take the sun away, just have light. Put them together, sunlight. Okay, boys and girls, we're going to stop there for today. And tomorrow, oh, it's one of Mr. Barry's favorite things that we get to talk about. You'll find out tomorrow. Bye-bye.